Well, hello everyone. Um, how are we all going today? Welcome back, all those watched before. Uh, we are back to do some unbagging of some diamond paintings. Today I have a double pack and a single pack that I purchased from eBay um, a while ago. And yeah, I thought I'd unbox them with you guys today. So I hope you're ready for a great unboxing or unbagging, I should say, video. Yay! We're here to have some fun. That's what we're here for. So these ones all came with the clear cover, so not those opaque bubbly ones that we normally get. So I did purchase these from different sellers on eBay, so that's a bit hard to link them all up. I can't seem to manage to do that. But there is some different ones here that will have the little codes. So maybe on your regular e-store that you purchase them, you might be able to find these images as well. So hopefully I'll pop this one away for a minute and I'll just show you this image first. I think yeah so these have been sitting a little for a little round for a little, little, little these have been sitting around for a little while so I'm getting around to unboxing them all I'm um, doing a bit of sorting out got myself some folders you know that sort of fun things all right let's check it out so this one is to the is a 30 by 40 oh, there it is i can feel it around there basic sort of kit comes with it it is 30 by 40 canvas not image um it doesn't seem to have a thumbnail so i can't show you that but it is a ocean scene so we're by the seaside here this is supposed to be the waves there's some sand and we have like you see big seashell there sitting on the sand in the foreground in the background here we just got some you know some shrubberies we got a bit of a land spit coming off the side there so we got a little bit of a cove going on here so we're down the nice beach cove enjoying a beautiful sunny day with just a little bit of cloud decent cover of glue nothing wonderful but it's good enough the little devil should stick on there So it's um it's not a lot of detail like it's not a very detailed image you can sort of make out what's what uh to a degree the line for the ocean and the sky is very subtle it goes into the deep ocean here and then off to the sky so that's kind of interesting i don't know how you'd make it a bit more clearer Maybe you could add um, a little bit of brown and sort of just add some rocks into this and just sort of give it an edgy coastal sort of feel and just put a bit of brown and some white to show the water splashing up on it. That might help um, define the layout. But all in all, it's a nice little image. As I said, it probably one that could go a bit bigger to be better, as always these things seem to be. Uh, not much on the canvas though, as I said, no thumbnail, just the one key down this one side. I so said the drills are round, or some round drills, and I have the diamond print packaging. You know, we've had a few of them probably, or seen them at least before on other channels, or even my channel. Yay, go me. Um, so yeah, so they aren't bad as far as drills go, pretty readable. This is sitting okay. I am going to just come down a bit closer so we can have a look at the drilling field. Such as it is. And the canvas. Checking out the canvas. What have we got here? Alrighty. Let's see if we can get a little bit. There we go. That's better. So we've got a bit of colour blocking. Lovely some color changes here just to define the waves and that of the ocean it's going up there so i think there's a little bit of a sandbar coming out probably got this grove at the back coming down here into the water line so we are basically yeah that's sort of like the back of the ocean if you can i think i think that's supposed to be like a little wave coming up the wave there and this here is the top of the, like the wave and then you've got this blue is the sky 
going up into a deep sky, which is apparently the same colour as the ocean. I don't know about that. But anyway, uh, we'll see how it works. Bit of cloudy sky. The actual, um, what do you call it? Symbols and stuff look pretty good. As far as print wise, I can't really see any faults with that. So the quality of the canvas is okay as far as that's concerned. Not much, but it's okay. Now I just have this one key, 20 colours in total. And I have just my numbers and my letter system. Woohoo! So no DMCs, etc. If you're looking for those, size is 40 by 30. That is the product code to this canvas. So um, little w896. You could probably put that into your search bar in most of the websites you usually tend to if you're not an eBay person. It was a bit hit and miss. Let's face it on those sites basically, um, and you might be able to find it that way if you'd like this image don't know how I feel about it at this stage because I feel it's a little small for the detail. Well, I do like the idea of it. Who doesn't like being sit by the seaside? Okay, so for this one I have these round reels, as I say, in this diamond packaging. So we might have a quick browse of those. I should have some nice... Uh, pale greens, turquoise, that sort of thing. And what did I say? 20? Yeah, 20 colours in total. There we go. So it's all nice. Oh, okay. That's See, this is why sometimes... Ooh, what's going on? eBay, what are you doing? So apparently you must have a miss fill or something there because they haven't actually filled and what they've done is they've actually bagged that colour in a zip bag and stapled it. And stapled it or glued it on. Just ducky tape it down. Stucky tape? Sticky tape. Ah! Sticky tape that one on there. Okay. Righto. Um, number one diamond I don't know what you call it type can, um, drills, probably the talking coming through. As I said, this one is being put in a zip bag and then stuck because the obviously the machine forgot to put the diamonds in it, so that was a bit of a bugger. So obviously, uh, when this has been checked and added to later after the, the fault happened, so that's good. At least I'm not having to look at a big empty area for drills. Lots of greens. Beautiful colours. All in all, they look pretty good. Let's have a look at you nice and close. Ah, come on, do the focus thing. Why? Um... Okay, well, it doesn't seem to want to come in real close for whatever reason this point in time, but there we go. Finally, um, there you go. There's a bit of a close-up of your drill quality for this one. No problem really with the actual quality of the drills. It's just that the machines obviously had a bit of a mishap when it was loading. But that happens. Someone's checked this off, so that is good. Let's see. So I'll just pack this one up real quick, and then I'll go through those other twin kit. Twin kit next. Squishy, squishy. There we go. All right. So that's that one. We'll just put him on the floor till we're ready for you again. Now this was actually a twin kit. So they came together. You didn't buy these ones separately. So 
photos. Not to say you can't find them on other websites that you normally go to and purchase your diamond paintings um, separately, but uh, this was a twin pack that I got uh, by eBay. I haven't really been purchasing for a long time um, diamond paintings off there, but these are some of the ones I had done in the past. So I brought them back. Where the devil do you start? Um, am I missing? There we go. God, gosh, that was a struggle. Ah, why not? Let me have it. Well, this is sealed up very well. I must say. Golly gosh, that was a bit much. Anyway. So, <laughs> the struggle is real, people. So this one I have as another, uh, well, it says 40 by 30 or 30 by 40, however you like to look at it. Uh, diamond painting code is there. That is your thumbnail. It is going to be a space themed one. It is 40 by 30 because it's going that way. I don't know. Yes, this way. All right, so I've got a basic kit with three baggies because I have 20 colours. I need three. I um, <laughs> don't know why they even bother. I do collect them still, I suppose. That's one thing. <laughs> I'm just going to give it a wrangle, wrangle dangle. The glue is sticky, I've already been experiencing that. There we go. So this is, I got that in shot properly, who would know? Don't worry about the squeaks, I don't know what to do with that stand. Um, there we go, that's pretty good. Now it's canvas size is the 30 by 40, uh, not image, full drill. 20 colours, I showed you a thumbnail and I've got a fairly reasonable sort of symbols etc. A lot of letters I can see but a lot of other stuff as well. Anyway, that is your drills. They are coming in the TJ packaging. TJ packaging. Usually a reasonably good um, type of drill. But I do like these planets. They look quite nice, the colours. This is nice and big, this image here of satin. Uh, you can see the rings there. I'm assume it's satin. Um, yeah, so far so good. I like that one. Very nice. Very nice indeed. Let me come in and show you the details of the little fella. Now we've got our uh, symbols and so forth to look at throughout the uh, canvas. I will show you here we have a thumbnail. It shines a bit, but the image is quite uh, obvious, so I don't think you really need that. Uh, this is your charting or table. Printed quite well, 20 colours, no DMCs. I do have one down this other side as well, so whichever way you like to start the diamond paint, you should be all set. As I said, uh, there's your code numbers, etc. Now I'm just going to have a look at some of the drilling field. If I can open this. There we go. Mm, interesting. Let's go down a bit closer and a bit more personal if we can. Up close and personal to this diamond painting, we are going to have a look. It seems to have the sort of circular effect with where the drilling is. Not the awful rings, but just the coloured dots. That's not bad. I can live with that, I guess. I'm going to have to. Uh, negative print looks good. Some colour blocking there. Pretty simple, no real mad confetti, a little bit of colour change, nothing too dramatic. Looks pretty good to me. This shouldn't be too bad, it's one of the ones you can sort of probably knock out fairly quickly if you wanted to. We've got quite a lot of background there that's pretty solid. 
I don't really worry about trying to get them done fast. I just keep trucking along at my own little speed, getting things done here and there. Because I want to enjoy the art of it all. I don't want to have to just smash things out. But everyone does things differently. Some people just want to get the get it done and see it finished. That's cool. Whatever way you like to do it. Uh, this one here has yep, PJ packaging for drills. And they are round. I might just scoot that over there and see if it wants to behave itself. So lots of colours in this one. I've got a little browse of this. I won't worry about the other one. It's got the same brand. Okay, so that's my little loose ones. That's the end. That's the start, technically. Cool. Let's check out the PJ Packaging Round Drills. Now we've got pink samos and all sorts of fun dark colours there. That's going to be awesome. A bit of purples and turquoise, bright greens, creams, more blues. Lots and lots of blue for that background. A bit of brown. Oh, some nice peppermint-y sort of type spearmint colours. And some pink. And I've got even some sort of terracotta and a very very pale mint sort of colour there as well and my last two is ah, sort of a dark turquoise and yeah sort of a smoky grey nilly as well and there we go so that is the colour palette for this one it's quite bright and uh, should be quite an enjoyable piece to work on nice 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 Let's just shove that over there, shove this over here, and we'll get on to the next project. Alrighty. Whoa, that's too close. Okay. <laughs> I still was focused right in there, guys. Well, let's have a look at this one. It is the last one I'm going to show you for this video. Uh, it is the second piece to the twin pack there. And these are both the same sort of themed, different designs. So we're looking at another space themed one. It is again 40 by 30. I have a thumbnail here and I have the code directive as well. So this one again is, um, you know, portrait style. I have a basic kit with again another three bags which I will scab out of there don't you worry about that um, every bag is per has a purpose around here I have a drawer of bags I'm always using for my leftover drills etc so they are handy and they build up right oh given a little bit of a straighten wow that is a scene isn't it check it out check it out so this is the um other one you get with the set it's kind of cool because they would look really nice together um in a child's room or older astronaut sort of person type uh, what is it astronomer <laughs> i have to think someone that's into astronomy would really appreciate these kind of images um in their room or something like that i think it would look really kind of cool definitely i like them uh this one here has sort of the bigger planet right in the foreground here so you can sort of see that might be i don't know maybe a jupiter gives me that sort of feel uh i don't think it's actually our solar system it's just um yeah i think just reputation of space we have a supernova or something going on here or a sun just doing its thing lots of things going on here some more planets and looks like something that would comet or something might be going on at this corner across the planet there so it's quite a busy sort of painting no real nice spectacular big uh planet like the last one other than this one down the corner here but it does give you some variation of where the planets are and depth and stuff so i quite like that all right as before 20 colors and i have a chart 
And for my colours, I have another chart over here. I have again PJ packaging drills. These look really nice. They are round. We'll have a slightly closer, better look at that in a moment. I don't know if I'll pull the lemon ones out though. Uh, yeah, let's have a look at this canvas nice and close. Uh, I will start at the bottom of this canvas here. I've got good glue, nothing spectacular, but good enough. That is my chart. And as you can see, I have some letters for the most part, but I do have a couple of hashtags and percentages and things like that as well, and some stars and things. So nothing too mind-boggling on um, the, the symbols, as you might say. Just looking through, we have our big sun or supernova or something going on there, and other planets. Lots and lots and lots of detail going on up here. For the size, I think you can identify everything quite well um, for what they are supposed to represent in the station. Again, your chart and all your information across the top of this one. And your thumbnail for what it is. So that is essentially that. That is your symbols on the drilling field. Ta-da! As you get sometimes with these needy ones, they're not as bright as they probably could be. But on the other hand, I find if they are too bright and they poke out behind your drills, they look horrible anyway. So you just want them readable, really. Um, these look really good. It nearly looks like a fried egg, doesn't it? Now that I looked at it closely. Why does my brain come there? Anyway, uh, this is the top part here. I think you've got like either, maybe it could be a comet going past the planet or it might be just a ring around this planet. I'm not 100% sure, but it looks kind of groovy. It's nice and bright colors around the place. And as I said, for the drilling field, it looks really good. I'm quite happy with that for what it is. And I do like this big fellow in the foreground here. All right, I'm going to just swish through these. I'm not, no, I don't even know if I will bother opening these ones. I think I'll just show you. You can see there's going to be some beautiful bright colors. For those who can't deal with it being upside down, I'll switch that around. Um, you can see I've got some beautiful orange and purples, hot pinks, and some creamy yellows to bright oranges, lots of shades of blue, and through to your darker colours. So it is a nice little palette here. You have got some nice bright um, breakers, as you can say. Uh, this packaging is printed well with its numbers, so I don't think there's any issues there, although I am concerned with the other one having that mishap with the machine but they did correct it so it should be fine beautiful mauves and pinks and colors some white yeah no they look all right no no funny business going on with that one but there we go that's that very good very good indeed. Okay, so that planet one, which is kind of groovy, I actually really like these. Uh, and that one, that was the twin set. Um, they were in the portrait. And then I had this little ocean themed one as well that I purchased. And yeah, so they were, I got all of them off eBay. So if you want them, have a look around there as a was a while ago so you it seems to be very quick for ebay to just get rid of things so i can't even guarantee they'll be on the sites anymore uh, so unfortunately I, I can't add any links to help you guys in that regards but if you do use um those codes on the canvas in a e-store that you regularly visit whether it's um everyday e-crafts or your best deals or any of those sort of places may be able to help you as well so maybe just try those out um I have all those websites linked down in your code. So you can check that out if you like. And you just type that in your search bar. Um, 
and you should hopefully be able to find them if they stock them or you might just find another image under that number yet who would know so i'll try and add those two hg 720 hg 719 and this one was um yes a w 896 so unfortunately it's probably the best way i can help you guys to find these images if you like them but yeah anyway i thought i'd share them with you guys i hope you enjoyed looking at these ones with me today um and thank you very much for watching i would really appreciate if you hit the notification bell likes and subscribe basically to the channel would be awesome uh, thank you everyone for watching i hope you enjoy the my unboxing videos and all the other ones i put out there's lots to check out in the catalogue down there. So, um, yeah, have a browse if there's anything else you'd like to watch. I will see you in my next video. Take care. Be well. Have fun, guys. Enjoy your diamond painting or any craft you do. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye for now. Bye.